So, looks like, uh, basically my plan is to move first and ask questions later. to defend that province. You know, they really don't want our guys to link up, do they? I guess that kind of makes sense. Confederates have managed to carve themselves out a nice chunk of uh, land. guys to oh man they they're throwing everything they got in this defensive operation here oh my god oh no we lost we're gonna lose that holding force oh no that's awful should actually uh, make sure I replace those guys. I lost two infantry divisions. It's very sad. I'm very disheartened by this. But they will be replaced. War in China might already pretty much be over. The nice thing about having allies is that they will uh, plug the holes in your lines for you. No, I'm not giving you goddamn bastards peace. How dare you even ask? I'm trying to declare peace from this completely unprovoked war. You guys have crossed the line this time. My only response is to obviously uh, annex you when I uh, get the opportunity to do so. Because that's not like that was what I was going to do anyway. Sure, this. Do it. Well, there goes another, uh, complete and utter encirclement.
Now I got tons of divisions and they are just so far behind. These guys are going to be able to win this battle, but they will be able to win this one. can't finish off these Chinese that don't have any supplies at all. Really, you need me to come in and do it for you. Okay, whatever. So much crap happening right now, I'm trying to keep uh, track of it all. Alright, well we're about to reach Beijing. that you guys go north. And we're going to create another massive encirclement. gentlemen in the north I think we're just about to take Beijing and we've just taken Beijing Wow, these American Marines were somehow able to bust in and take this airfield. Even though they're completely surrounded by, uh... Chinese troops. Whatever's fastest, guys, just make it happen. Oh no, theoretical weapon, strategic rocket is now available. Good show, everybody. Okay, these guys. Actually, I'm gonna have to pull these guys out. Whoa! Really? That's no good. I didn't know we were having a supply uh, issue in London. What about uh, our gentlemen in South America? They are all well supplied. That is bizarre. I've never seen that happen before. Okay, anyway. Uh, we've got to get these guys out before they're bombed into oblivion.
Oh, crap. Take some time for our men to get to where they need to be. Where the hell do these guys come from? Wow. All right. Man, this is, uh... Now, after that pocket was taken, they are just falling apart. It's just a mess. These guys are just a total and absolute mess. Oh no, it's goddamn Americans that landed. Can't have that. go and you guys too okay uh, those Americans I think are going to uh, sweep up the north there's nothing I can do about that Not unless I'm able to get men to Beijing in time The linchpin of everything. There we go. Actually, we might be, we might do okay. Might do all right. not happening. Completely undersupplied and undermanned divisions. There we go. Looks like right now it's just uh, mopping up what's left. That's what it's going to be. Should we really get some of these supply lines open? As soon as we get our supply lines open, we're going to simultaneously close theirs. Oh no! Wow, 
on you guys. You better get there. You better call your fucking asses. Oh, uh, they made it. Okay. Great. Canadian armor divisions are able to be deployed. Extreme nationalist parties because I think it will be funny, which is a solid basis for any public policy. here left that is actually uh, has victory points so let's uh, strategically pinpoint those and get this all sorted out and send the men home okay is there any other province here Nope. But I will take that airfield just to deny them the ability to bomb the crap out of us. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I think I've pinpointed the uh, places that I need to take. Wow, they made it up there fast. Defending that one area with two guys, two divisions. You guys really, you, you gotta learn, it's over. You know, give it up, you're done. Go home, you've lost. You know, you put up a good fight, probably the best fight out of anyone, uh, and any nation that we fought yet. Definitely killed the most out of any nation we fought yet, but that's probably more due to the nature of the fighting having to undergo, and in the areas uh, where it happened to be. But it 
looks like. There is only one or two. Actually, no, you're gonna hold that position. The rest of uh, our loving allies shall be able to mop this up, but I think we've just gotta make it to this last province. And then it's all over. Oh wait, no, we still gotta take this one too. Oh no, those, 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 they're coming. They're coming, guys. Should probably go and get them, but uh, yeah, it's always too much to ask for these days. Just gotta wait it out until August. Oh no, crap! On a stick. Oh, well, we'll be able to retake that pretty quickly, I think. I like how the uh, picture of the uh, Marines here has a U uh, like Royal Canadian Marines has a nice U.S. boat, you know, printed right there, nice U.S. logo. <sighs> anyway, how close are you guys to taking this? Ah, uh, goddamn Chinese bastards! Just when we think it's all over, you decide you're going to put one last, last ditch effort. To hold the line, but it's now over. I think we can annex. Yes, we can. Beautiful. Wow, okay. Thus ends the war in China as the Canadians have managed to take it in its entirety. But, uh, I am not going to be the one who runs this, this shindig. Uh, I want the largest Chinese, uh, empire that you got. The Republic of China. That looks like it. So all the other ones are like, oh, you know, you get three provinces, and this one gets a nice long list. Wow, okay. So there we go. A new Republic of China. It's been created. And hopefully, uh, our allies will give back any and all nations or any and all provinces which have been taken. Oh, sweet. We can uh, start upgrading our main equipment. So the entire Canadian Army is here, all f 145 divisions. Oh, sorry, 105. Where I got 145? I haven't the slightest idea. Alright. So, where does this leave us now? It's a good question. Uh, whoever just asked that. Um, 
that leads me with wanting to conduct an invasion of Vietnam and thereby extinguish the last elements of syndicism in the world. Deploy our forces there. There we go. Chinese are getting back their provinces. And our troops are returning home as the Chinese begin to rebuild their country after uh, yeah, I don't know. Someone invaded them. Who knows who they were? The history books are a little bit confused on the matter. Right, the Chinese are getting back all their lost uh, provinces. Men are returning home. So yeah, again, where does that leave us? You might be wondering. Well, I'll tell you where this leaves us. Why am I... Oh, I know why I have uh, so much in terms of production. Sorry, tank. Uh, sorry, motorized division and other motorized division and uh, other tank yep we're done with this uh, whole computer allocating our resources. Oh, right, I can purge the army. How awesome is that? The answer? Pretty darn awesome. Okay. So now we're gonna... And we're going to smash on through with an obscene amount of, of troops to uh, fight the tiny nation of Vietnam. But they're the last syndicate nation on the planet. So they got to go down. Like how all already my allies are just like flooding in to uh, fill the gap there. I'm just gonna, you know, stand around on these uh, borders and do a whole lot of nothing, which is what they've uh, become quite good at doing.
So I'm really hoping that uh, China will soon, uh, well, <laughs> I'm really hoping that uh, China will grow larger. And um, really what I mean by that is that their industrial capacity will grow larger.